eventually come to the light.
eventually come to the light. That's right before we start our championship match, we first recognize our hardcore heroes and award the Sports Flip Bill Basket International Championship 2022 first and second medical team. And with that, let's turn our attention on the hardcore with the lovely Mika Madrid. Welcome to the awarding ceremonies of the Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship 2022. Phil Basket has definitely come a long way, and tonight I give the floor and the spotlight to talented individuals who have showed valor and exemplary performance on the hard court. Presenting the awards will be our Phil Basket President and Co-Founder, Commissioner Jai Reyes. Next up, we have Mr. Ivan Tam, Head of E-Business Development of our title sponsor, Li Ning. Ms. Jian Ng, Business Development Executive, Li Ning. And last but not the least, we have Dato Seri Li Tian Hock, President of MABA. Again, ladies and gentlemen, let us all give them a warm round of applause. Thank you very much. And now we begin awarding our Phil Basket Tournament second team. First up, averaging 8.8 .8 points, seven rebounds, and one steal, this six foot five center braved through the tournament by protecting the rim at all costs. Ladies and gentlemen, from Bumi Borneo, Muhammad Rizki. Next up, this veteran player who is a natural-born leader ushered in an average of 17.3 points, 
3.8 rebounds, 5 assists, and 2 steals. Never missing a single free throw in the entire tournament. From the Makabayan Warriors, James Vincent Martinez. Despite many adversities, this guy showed impressiveness and stepped up for his team on many occasions. Averaging 27 points, 5 rebounds, 2.3 assists, and 2 steals, we have Jonathan Wong from the Adroit Sports Association. Jonathan is not here with us today, so accepting the award is Hugh Jahao. Next up, this Thai Irish pro proved himself as an on court leader on many occasions throughout the tournament. He averaged 22.3 points, 5 rebounds, and a 50.7 field goal percentage. From Pegasus Sports, we have Ruben Dasso. And last but not the least, this 28 year old 6 foot 5 power forward showed his aggressive rebounding capability and displayed stellar control on the court throughout the tournament, steering in an average of 19.5 points, 17.5 rebounds, 1.8 assists, and 2.5 steals. We have Capri Dean Alston from the Elang Pacific Caesar. Ladies and gentlemen, your all-fail basket tournament second team. We now invite everybody to go to the center for a photo op. And now, we move on to the awarding of our all fail Basket Tournament first team. From one of the teams who will be battling for the championship title tonight, this 23-year-old shooting guard led his young unit to a slot in the finals. Averaging 11.8 points, 3.8 rebounds, 2.5 assists, and 1.5 steals from KL Asil, D. We Yang. Next up, we have another star player who is definitely a force on both ends of the court. He ushered in an average of 15.3 points, 5.5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1.3 steals. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know him as Mei Mei, Ting Chun Hong from Harimau, Malaysia. A veteran basketball player who came out from retirement 
makes it to the first team forward spot. This six foot four power forward played a crucial role, yielding an average of 18 points per game, 1.4 rebounds, and 2.5 assists. We have Mac Baracael from Pilipinas Aguilas. From Malaysia's national team, this 26-year-old 6'3 shooting guard put in all the work when his team needed him the most. With an average of 16.8 points, 5.5 rebounds, and 2.5 assists, we have Wong Yi Hao of Harimau, Malaysia. And last but not the least, we have the man in the middle, the one who held the fort most of the time. He was a scoring machine who led his team to reach this far, averaging 20.3 points, 13.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and 3 steals. Ladies and gentlemen, from the MBC Basketball Club, D'Lo Hamilton! And again, that was your all Phil Basket Tournament first team. Stand by for your championship game in a few moments. And again, congratulations to our all Phil Basket Tournament first and second teams.
Ladies and gentlemen, it has come down to this. One team walks away from here with the championship while the other team just walks out of here. This is the final game in the Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship. And it is between the two Malaysian squads that opened hostilities right here in Kuala Lumpur. My name is Noel Zarate, and I'll be doing this. I have the pleasure of doing this with Coach Isran Edika. Coach, it's been a while. Nice to have you back on board in the broadcast booth. Yeah, it's pretty really great to be here right? Yo, with you, Noel. All right. Now, Harimau is undefeated. They are looking very, very good right now. Coach Jeff Viernes has really instilled a great system. Talk about what Jeff Viernes brings to this Harimau squad. Yeah, as you know, Noel, that based on the paper, that Harimau Malaysia is pretty good because they have a very, very good guard. And definitely, Meme, one of the top players right now, uh, leading them to the final. Well, for Kuala Lumpur, Asil, of course, they had a few stumbling blocks along the way, but they have made it here to the final. Talk about what makes uh, Kuala Lumpur, Asil, such a popular team here in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, I bet that half of the uh, in the stadium that uh, Kyle Asil supporter. And right now, I would say that Coach Kilip is uh, the best coach, local coach in Malaysia that I think he's going to bring all his tactics into the final game. Well, you know what, folks? We're going to throw all of the stats out the window because we have only one game to decide the champion of the first ever Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship. And right now, we send it over to the floor to Graham S. Bear, who will introduce everybody who is going to be participating in this game. Number six, Jia Zhongshin. Number seven, Lim Chi Wei. Number eleven, Chan Yu Thong. Number twelve, John Wong. Number seventeen, Joshua Gan. Number 23, Liu Wei Yong. And now the starters. Number 77, Tan Wei Long. Number 8, Sung Ka An. Number 18, Wei Yong Gan. Number 10, D. Wee Yang. And number 5, Megan Mahadevan. Their head coach is Yi Ki Lip. And now let's meet. Your Harry Mao Malaysia. Number seven, Tam Zenji. Number ten, Lim Won Song. Number eleven, Wong Yi Hao. 
Number 21, Lee Jing Hong. Number 28, also known as Milo Mac Longseng. Number 31, Yu Jia Hao. Number 77, Heng Yi Tong. And now their starters. Number 15, Anthony Liu. Number 33, Oi Shen Pu. Number 16, Kwek Tian Yuan. Number 71, Ong Wei Yong. And lastly, number 27, known as Mei Mei Ting Chung Ho. Their head coach is Jeff Biernes. Ladies and gentlemen, right before we start this game, may we request everyone to stand up to sing Malaysia's national anthem. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are moments away from our gold medal match or our championship game. I keep on saying gold medal match because we're so used to international competitions right here in the MABA Stadium. Once again, my name is Noel Zarate, working with Coach Isran Edika. Now, Coach, the atmosphere here is electric. 
but I heard during the player introduction, it's as if that Harimau doesn't have as many fans as a seal. Yeah, true, very true. Because you see, most of the fans are cheering Megan, that number Galaxy number five. Yeah, where he's really, really uh, popular in Malaysia. You know, he be become an actor before. Uh, oh, I didn't know he was an actor here before. He does have the good looks. And again, he was also part of that contingent that went to the Philippines. I'm pretty sure you heard a lot of stories of when Kuala Lumpur Asil went to the Philippines. He actually made it to the quarterfinal round of the Phil Basket Summer Championship. Unfortunately, didn't win that one. But they learned so many lessons in their trip to the Philippines. Yeah, definitely. Because you can see once they come, come back from the Philippines, you can see they are buckled up, they are physical, they went to the gym a lot. Uh -huh. And you can see they are really, really uh, good with their skill. And it's a good experience them uh, playing in Philippines. Well, we did experience a lot of the players already from Kuala Lumpur Asil over the past how many days already we've had uh, competitions here. But of all of the players, uh, besides Megan Mahadevan, who among the Asil players do you feel has really improved a lot? Yeah, uh, you can see that uh, the number 10, uh, we, we young, we, where he become a first uh, first team in this tournament. Right. And surprising, uh, if you ask me, Kilip that left out uh, Sharwin, where uh -huh. he's standing 6, 10, 11. I yeah. think this this is a uh, tactical uh, made by Coach Kilip uh, to match up speed for Harimau Malaysia. Well, there's a lot of speed and there's a lot of shooting here for the Asil squad as well. Uh, we do expect a lot from the Gun Boys. You know, we call them the Blazing Guns, Joshua Gun and Wee Young Gun. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Those are top two uh, top shooter in Malaysia. Like Joshua Gun, I would uh, say he he is like represent like JJ Reddick. Where he love uh, off the ball movement, JJ Redick, that's yeah, nice. shoot shoot off the screen. Once he's get it, it's pretty hard to stop him. Well, you know, there's been a lot of uh, um, offense also coming from down low. Guys like Li, Li, Liu Wei Yong. Uh, we've also had uh, you did mention uh, Di Wei Yang, and of course uh, Megan Mahadevan. So, how important is the inside game for Kuala Lumpur Seal if they want to get an advantage here over Harimau? Yeah, uh, definitely. As I think Coach Kilip tried to put Megan and put a lot of shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, around him because he wants to coach uh, Megan at the low post and try to collab the Harimau Malaysia where he can kick out and get a three, easy three point. Well, because you as you know, Coach Kilip is he loved the three point. Oh yeah, that's right. And but Megan Mahadevan actually, unfortunately, and as we mentioned in previous broadcasts, got injured in the Philippines. So we never really got to see him showcase what he can do. But what he's done so far here at the Field Basket or the Sports Click Field Basket International Championship, it's pretty amazing. I mean, he's got amazing footwork for somebody his size. Yeah, he's quite young actually, uh, Noel. He's, uh, his post moves like dramatic improve day by day. All right. And I saw him against Hamilton which is, is really, really good matchup. You can see his potential to be greatness in around the ASEAN. Well, of course, we did see also his matchup against Prince Eze, where he got blocked a lot, but he still kept on doing what he was supposed to do, post up. Even if he got blocked a lot, he still did his job. Yeah, definitely. He not, never scared to uh, against all those import. And right. I would love all those local players to keep playing like that. Well, for Kuala Lumpur, a seal, of course, they have uh, two losses, actually one loss uh, in this tournament, but they did make it all the way to the finals. Two losses, I have to uh, correct myself there. First against Harimau and, of course, to Bumi Borneo as well as they made it, but they still made it all the way here to the finals. Now, for Harimau, this is, in essence, Coach uh, Israel Edika, the national team of Malaysia. Yeah, it's, uh, you can see all those players are the best players in Malaysia. And uh, you can see Meme and Yihao are the top two players right now. And Meme are leading them into the final. And you can see the big difference is their system compared to the last uh, C game. And right now they are playing much more faster. You can see Coach Jeff like implement seven seconds rule offensive. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Once they got, they just uh, keep attacking the basket or quick three points. Right. And, and for Coach Jeff Viernes, I mean, being a coach yourself, what has Jeff Viernes brought? to this squad, uh, Harimau, and to Malaysian uh, basketball in general? Uh, to be honest with you, Coach Jeff is really, really great on improving our skill. Because uh, last time, uh, when Malaysia against Philippines, uh, definitely Philippines going to press us so hard because they know we cannot dribble to pass to the half court. And once Coach Jeff uh, entered into Malaysia, he improved a lot, like dribbling skill, the way how they attack to the basket. And right now, they are shooting. You can see they shoot on the ball and right. off the ball, they're really, really fantastic. Well, one of my favorite players right now is actually Ong Wei Yong, who has really developed. Uh, he looks like a little Jeff Viernes out there right now. Yeah, yeah to be honest, yeah. To be, uh, Ong Wei Yong is a totally different player. He likes to control the pace of the game because he knows the moment he wants to push the ball and the moment he wants to slow down the game. 
that that's his specialty in Malaysia. Well, it looks like we are going to have a player interview in just a few moments here, uh, Coach Israel Edika. Uh, I believe our very own Janine Sakal has caught up with a Tan Chi Seng of Kuala Lumpur Asil, as well as another player here from a, uh, from a Harimau. So we're going to hear Janine in just a few moments before we begin our championship game. We are now mere moments away from the most exciting matchup here in this Sunday evening here at Mava Stadium in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Tonight, only one team will be coming home with a smile on their faces because tonight we will be naming the first champion for Sportsbook International Championship. But before that, I have here with me both um, players from both teams from Harimau, Malaysia, Harimau, Malaysia, Wei Young and Chi Sing from KL Asil. Now let me ask you guys, how significant is this game for both teams? Um, I gotta say the pressures are not with us and we gotta do what we gotta do. Um, prove, this is an opportunity for us to prove we gotta just play and win the game. There's no such thing like Team B. Oh, what about for Harimo Malaysia? I think I just want to say, we just want to defend our home court. It's going to be an interesting matchup, so sit back and relax as we head on to our championship night. And now, back to the panel. Very much, Janine. And, and you heard it. That was a very heavy statement there coming from Sen, uh, Seng Tanchi. There's no such thing as Team B. Yeah, right now you want to make a statement to the Harimau Malaysia that this is not a Team A or Team B. Right now they want to prove to the Coach Jeff that they also can win this game. Yeah, you know, it's, it's so difficult. You, you want to earn the respect. You did earn the respect of the crowd being one of the favorite teams here, but you want to earn the respect of the basketball world, especially in Malaysia, that Asil is not just the team B of the national team, which is mostly in Harimau. Yeah, very, very true, Noel. Right now, um, you can see that uh, Harimau Malaysia, they are kind of relaxed right now. And uh, just now, Tan Chi Singh tried to put pressure on them. <laughs> He wants to say that this is not going to be the easy game. Yeah, yeah. Tan Chi Seng actually also emulating the crowd here earlier when they were being called. And then for Harimau, of course, the, the pressure, I believe he's right. Tan Chi Seng is, uh, is, says the pressure is on Harimau because they're here. They're very relaxed. You know, they have nothing to lose being here in the final. But Harimau, there's a lot of pressure on them because, number one, they're undefeated. Number two, they're also the national team. Yeah, very true, Noel. Uh, they are the first, the first team in Malaysia right now. And all the pressures are at them. It's it, it kind of interesting that uh, how to see Coach Jeff try to motivate right. them because most of them are knowing each other and how Coach uh, Jeff going to put a motivation, put pressure a little bit to Harimau Malaysia. Well, I would just like to say also that it's actually yesterday was actually the first anniversary of Phil Basket. It was yesterday, a year ago, that we all entered uh, Subic Bay Gymnasium in the Philippines for the very, very first tournament. And now, just over a year, just under a year later, we're here in Malaysia. Yeah, really, really interesting that uh, Phil Basket like expand to ASEAN right now. I hope there's uh, a lot of circus uh, going out throughout the year. Well, I also talked to some of the uh, the officials here that Phil Basket, the, what they brought here is the technology of the Philippines. For Malaysia, it's always been, when are we going to beat the Philippines? Even in the Southeast Asian Games. And I keep saying the last time before 2022 that a Philippine team lost in the Southeast Asian Games was 1989 in this building against Malaysia. That is very true, Noel. It was one of our remarkable history that we are proving that Malaysia was the top once ago. That's right. That 1989, of course, the Malaysians were the gold medalists in the Southeast Asian Games, but it's been so long. Some people weren't even around in 1989. I don't know if you've been around since 1989. Yeah, actually, uh, 89, I was born on that oh, year. There you go. <laughs> so you're the lucky charm. When you were born, the, no, Malaysia beat the Philippines. But now, again, and a lot of people are asking, when are we going to beat the Philippines? I believe with a lot of, uh, with a lot of exposure that you're doing, sending uh, Kuala Lumpur Asil to the Philippines, bringing the, some Philippine teams here uh, to play in tournaments, and just consistent exposure, it won't take long. Remember the time when the Americans were unbeatable in basketball. They, they, the only time they lost was it, like in 1972, and that was still controversial, right, in that Olympics. But in 2004, they did not win the gold medal. In 1988, they did not win the gold medal. 
Uh, it's very true, Noel. You can see that right now, Malaysia are bringing all those good, good youngsters that they are very, very skillful uh, compared to last time. And hopefully, they are the gold generation for Malaysia. Yeah, that's a, that's a good way to call them, the gold generation. Because it only takes a matter of time and just, just a program that's sustaining. And, and it's great that Phil Basket is like spreading what, you know, the secrets of Philippine basketball, if you will, <laughs> oh, to, to this region. And here's the, here's the example of that. No Philippine team in the finals. Yeah, fantastic. He's showing that Malaysia is growing day by day. Oh, what a way to open the championship game. Anthony Liu with a two-handed duck there, Coach Edgar. Right now, Noel, they are showing why they are the number one in this tournament. And that is an emphatic way to begin here. 2-0 for Harimau Malaysia. What will the response be from Megan Mahdevan and the rest of Kuala Lumpur Seal against the double team? A traveling violation will be called on the big guy. Yeah, you can see as when Mega get the ball on the low post straight away, Harimau Malaysia sent a double team to them. But I also like that the crew chief right now is one of our good friends, uh, Mr. Nelson Chan, who is the fastest whistle in Malaysia. <laughs> he, he's the senior one. Yeah, he's the senior, and he won't hesitate calling technical fouls on you if you misbehave here. So 2-0, Harimau. Here is Mei Mei, now going to Ong Wei Yong. That's a lob pass intended for Anthony Liu. Loose ball, no whistle that time. And here come the black shirts of Asil into the front court right now. They immediately want to go inside to Megan Mahadevan, but that pass is batted away. And they say it's a turnover. So ball possession goes back to Harimau. Let's see that one again. Oh, well, we missed it. But it was, it was a turnover, so last touch against the black shirts. Harimau undefeated. And they are looking to stay that way and route to the championship. Here's Ong Wei Yong right now. And there is going to be a whistle. Offensive foul will be called. This one will go against Quick. Yeah, you see Quick Chen Yen moving screen. This is where Quick Chen Yen moving screen. Oh, I see his elbow outside the cylinder. I remember when Quick was in Manila with Kuala Lumpur Asil, they used to call him the grandfather of this team. Because <laughs> he is one of the oldest members, if not the oldest member of... Uh, of Harimau right now, of course, a seal during that time. Megan can't get it to go. Recovery made now by uh, Sun Ka'an. Getting it inside to Mahadevan once again, almost lost it. And a three-pointer on its way. That is good, coming from Wee Yong Gan. Yeah, fantastic three-point by Wee Yong Gan. You can see, yes. when Kalas is caught straight away, Harimau Malaysia pushed the ball. And one of their games, Harimau, uh, actually a seal, went for 18 three-point makes. That's going to be tapped out by Megan Mahadeva. So you can see that for Coach Ichi Lip, that is the weapon of choice, the three-pointer here, Coach Edika. Yeah, you can see uh, they try to fit ball to Megan at the low post. And uh, Harimau Malaysia sending two or three guys to try to stop him. And Megan, why, why pass to Wee Yogan and make the three-point? Sort of your, reminds you of like, the way Charles Barkley used to play when he was with the Phoenix Suns. He was surrounded by shooters. He would be in the post and then that's how the Phoenix Suns made it to the finals of the 1993 NBA Championship. Oh, ho, ho! May -may! Off the glass! Off balanced! Looks like Meme is up to this game because he's got the play of the game last night. Oh! That is a deep three coming from Tan Wei Long! And we are having a shootout early here at the Maba Stadium. Here's Shan Fu getting it over to Quek. Wants to join the party, but instead wants the baseline. Goes cross court once again. Ong Wei Yong. Shot clock at eight right now. Tries to get it off the glass. Can't get it to go. Megan ahead of the pack now. Going to Di Wei Yang. Uh, you can see that Kela Sil and Harimau Malaysia are similar. A uh, game plan where they, once they score the point, they try to push the ball as fast as it can. Well, 8-5 now the score for Kuala Lumpur Asil, and the Asil fans want defense right now. Mei Mei trying to drive, and he was held by today's captain, Sung Ka An. So that will just be the first a team foul for Kuala Lumpur Asil. And you can hear, you can see Jeff Viernes is whispering something to Ong Wei Yong right now. I mean, what a development for this kid. And he shoots the three, and he gets it to go! Wow, wow. We, we didn't expect this because what, Wang, Wei Yong is not a good, good shooter, and they're letting him shoot, and he capitalized the three-point just now. Turnover here created by the defense, and here comes Tan Wei Long into the front court. He will stretch for the left-handed layup. 
Trying to counter right now. Shang Fu getting it now to Ong Wei Yong. He had a three-pointer earlier. Here's Ui Shang Fu. Can't get it to go. And the battle for the rebound. Megan couldn't hold on to it. Ong's got it now over to Mei Mei. Puts it up. He missed his uh, first. Uh, he made his first three. Missed this one. And it'll go back to a seal. Yeah, interesting. Uh, uh, defensive set by Coach Kili where he put a, like a zone man into the half court uh, when they pass the ball that straight away they man the Harimau Malaysia well, for Harimau Malaysia they are down by two oh block from behind great defense by Meme but it looked like he might have gotten a face a piece of the face of uh, Megan Mahadevan there and now it's going to be stopped as Megan is incapacitated underneath the rim yeah, Mega was calling to the ref, and Coach Kili was asking the ref about uh, Mei Mei just now hitting Megan's face when he's tried to score the under basket. So it looks like he's okay, Anthony Liu going over to check. I mean, these guys developed a really good bond when they were in uh, Manila. So Coach Iki still cool under the collar right now. We have just begun our championship game with 6 and 35 remaining here at the Maba Stadium. Our final game in the Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship. May May got bothered that time, no whistle. And bringing down the ball now, Kuala Lumpur a seal. That is Wee Yong Gan. And they go out to D once again, and another three is dropped by D. Wee Yang. Yeah, right now he's running three for Kalasiu. And they are leading by five points. That's a great start here for Kuala Lumpur Asil. Their outside shooting has been on point, at least to this moment. Here's Quick. Mei Mei splits the defense. They need to help underneath, and Mei Mei gets it off the glass. Yeah, right, right now, Mei Mei are bringing his performer from last night to, to finals game. And we Gun, you can see he's quite really, really confident when shooting three points. That's right. And here's Wee on the step in. Oh boy, he is on fire to begin this game. Wee Yong Gan. Here's Shan Fu trying to get inside. Bothered by the defense and it is taken away by Mahadevan. And a bullet pass going over to D. And it bounces over now to Wee Yong Gan. And there's going to be a foul before the shot, according to Nelson Chan. No, no, well, you can see that the gun gang, like they are taking over the game. We yo gun and DV gun. Yeah. The blazing guns. <laughs> As we call them here. And uh, Mei Mei has something to say to our officials. But with 5 and 27 remaining in the first, the lead still belongs to Kuala Lumpur Asil. And they also have possession with 16 seconds to shoot. Inbound now, Sung Ka An. Getting it now to Wee Yong Gan, another three. Not this time, but the offensive rebound picked up by Sung. Almost taken away. D gets it over to Sung, that is behind him. And Ong Wei Yong now leading a two on three. Ong Wei Yong will finish. Fantastic drive and go hard to the basket just now. Ong Wei Yong once again, he's got five in the game and he cuts the lead down to just three. 15 to 12, Megan Mahadevan lost the handle. And a turnover against the seal. Now it looks like Megan need to keep his composure. And Coach Kilip sub Megan for Liu, where he's a mid range assistant. Yeah, that's right. We call him the mid range maestro. Actually, Liu Wei Yong is in the game for the first time. Also seeing action for the first time is John Wong, wearing jersey number 12 for Kuala Lumpur as seal. Now we do have some subs also coming in. We're going to have Milo. That's Mak Lok Seng seeing his first action of the game as well. For Harimau. As a drop off inside, no basket. Traveling is going to be called. Oh, it's just an interesting call by the ref that he called Yi Hao traveling. Well, Yi Hao also a member of the first all tournament team. Now we have Tan Wei Long surveying the floor, gets it over now to Liu. Hand off again, the hot hand, not this time again for Wee Yong Gan. He's missed his last two. Mei Mei in the front court. They go out, Ong Wei Yong hit a three earlier. This time he tries to lob it in to no one in particular. And it's another turnover. Wee Yong Gan 
Tapping it over. There's your mid-range maestro. Can't get it done right now. Liu Wei Yong tracks down the offensive rebound. Wants the baseline. Gets it and scores. Wow. Fantastic. Lovely move he made just now. He tried to drop step. And right now, uh, I see that uh, Kelasi, like, they're taking over the game. They let uh, Ong Wei Yong to shoot the ball. The shooting hasn't really been the friend here so far for Harimau, but they do attack. And that is Milo Maklok Seng, uh, able to manufacture free throws. So now, right now, uh, Malaysia Harimau, they are putting all those uh, shooters inside. Yi Tong are coming in for... Oh, Mei Mei was the one who was replaced. Oh, Wei Yong. Yeah. You can see that uh, Yi Tong is one of the great, great point guards in Malaysia right, right. now. But, but the thing is, with him, he's not very, very consistent. And hopefully, uh, because of the injury, and hopefully after this, he can show or showcase his talent to the Malaysia that he is the one of the best point in Malaysia. How old is this kid, though? He's uh, 21. <laughs> he's got a long way to go. He's going to get there, coach. Don't worry about it. But what kind of an injury is he recovering from? Uh, he got the knee tendonitis, where he keep him like, out for two years. And wow. he really, really difficult for him to play for back-to-back -back tournament. Well, he is in the game right now. And they need some offense. Liu on the fall away. Back to another five-point lead for Kuala Lumpur Asil. Lob pass inside. Red well. Good defense by Tan Wei Long, who's getting a lot of minutes in this game. You can see Coach Kili put it well long as a trapper, where he's going to stand in the pain. Like, whoever uh, got the ball, he tried to double team straight away. So it's like a positionless unit right now for Kuala Lumpur Asil. No legitimate center. Inbound now coming from uh, Heng Yi Tong. Over now to Wong Yi Hao. And another whistle to halt play. And they're going to call this one on Lim Chi Wei, uh, it, it appears. Lim Chi Wei has picked up a lot of fans as well, not only here, but even in the Philippines. They like this 19-year-old kid and what he can do on the floor. Yeah, because uh, he was the tip for the next big thing in Malaysia. Right. Oh, great passing here by Harimau. That's going to be Milo Maklok Seng scoring. Lead down to three once again as we come up on three minutes remaining here in the first. Lim Chi Wei can't get it to go. Rebound, outlet, another touchdown perhaps. Yes, it is. And back-to-back -back baskets for Milo and back-to-back -back fouls for Lim Chi Wei. Uh, it looks, looks like the Harimau Malaysia like, take it over the game. Straight away, Milo tried to contest uh, the shot and straight away he ran to the basket because he knew his team going to get all those defensive rebounds. And when you look at the second unit of Harimau against the second unit of Asil, definitely the advantage will belong to Harimau. Why? Because that's still the national team of Malaysia in the second unit already. So they're able to get closer. In fact, close enough to tie it up at 19. Lim Chi Wei lost his balance. Nobody's going to get to this in the black shirt. Another turnover. And here is Yi Tong. Getting it into the post once again. And here is Li Jing Hing taking it out now. And a bank shot three coming from Heng Yi Tong. Why not? Well, looks like Harimau Malaysia are starting their engine to hitting three point shooting. And KLSL has no way to stop the three point. From a seven point lead for KLSL, it is now a three point lead for Harimau. And another missed layup coming from uh, Tan Wei Long. Fast break once again for the guys in white. They will slow it down. Hang Yi Tong getting a pick from Milo. You see all the bandages on his knees. That is tapped over now. Milo once again open from 18. Oh, nobody boxing out that time, but great defense coming from Liu Wei Yong. And they're on the run once again. Another basket coming from Tan Wei Long. Yeah, you can see that once Megan uh, step out of the court, it's really hard for Kelasi to get all, all those rebounds. And Harimau Malaysia straight away drive to the basket, attack the page. Another three on his way. Another three is dropped by Heng Yi Tong. He had a bank shot earlier. And this time it is a detonation from high above the sky. So 25-21, Harimau, just like that, picking up a four-point lead. Cross-court pass now going to Joshua Gan. Let's see if the Blazing Gans can get things going. Nothing there. 
Arimo on the attack, and here is Milo! Wan Xiong hitting the three just now. You can see that uh, Kela said that they are not going for offensive rebound. Yeah, that was number 10 guy, Lim Wan Xiong, who was able to hit that three, and now it's seven point lead going the other way, and they're not yet done. And uh, that is Wong Yi Hao getting to the free throw line once again. But how effective is Harimau? Down seven in the first quarter, up seven towards the end of the first quarter. Yeah, no, well, right now Harimau Malaysia are really, really big. On the court, uh, Megan is not there to get all those offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds, especially for Kelasil. And Harimau Malaysia, is, once he, they all go, get all those rebounds, they straight away push the ball. Right. And you see Yi Hao, how many fast breaks he scored. Well, Yi Hao is going to get to the free throw line right now. He's not yet scored in this game, but he did pick up a trophy just a few moments ago as part of the uh, Phil Basket All-Tournament team, the first team. And the question right now, uh, Coach Edika, is how long does Megan Mahadevan stay on the bench for Coach E. Kilip? Uh, it should be interesting to see how patient Coach Kilip are. Because he's using uh, number 77 way, way long as a trapper. And right now he's using Joe Wan as a trapper. But Harimau Malaysia is really, really big because they had to get all those rebounds. No, we didn't have to wait long after that one. And that is uh, Megan Mahadevan has just checked back into the game to replace John Wong. So suddenly it is an eight point lead, the largest by, not, by either team in this game. It now belongs to Harimau. Under a minute remaining in the first. This is the championship game, folks. And as I said earlier, the winner walks out of here with a championship while the other team just walks out of here. Megan Mahadevan bothered. Great defensive stop that time from Milo. In transition, Milo tries and makes the three point. Milo has been unconscious coming off the bench here. Looks like Milo is really, really improving on his three-point shooting because last time he's not very consistent on three-point. Right now he showed the coach Jeff he can hit the three-point. Oh, he's got nine off the bench. 31-21 and a traveling violation will be called against Liu Wei Yong. You can see at the replay, Liu Wei Yong. Oh, he just moved his pivot. Yeah. So they're saying no sub. Well, now they're bringing in some subs. Mei Mei. This is like adding more uh, coal to the fire right now. You bring in Mei Mei and you bring in Yi Hao. When your opponent is down by 10, it's like trying to squish the cockroach in the first quarter. Yeah, yeah, very true. You can see right now, Noel, they're putting all those good, good offensive players right now for yeah. Arima Malaysia. All those players are the best offensive player in Malaysia. Well, they now have 20 seconds remaining on the shot clock. They would like to take the last shot. And with all the shooters in there, hopefully it could be a three. Heng Yi Tong, Megan out to meet him. Shot clock now at nine. He's got all sorts of problems. Megan's not going anywhere. There's the jump shot, three-pointer way off. Do they get it off once again? A second to go. That's not gonna happen. Uh, that's one. a defense by Megan just now. He's taking a challenge to get Yi Tong right now. One on one skill. Well, earlier it was a seven point lead for Kuala Lumpur Asil, but as we had the first 10 minutes of action, it is a 10 point lead for Harimau Malaysia. Let's take a look at our sports click assist of the game. Everybody moving well without the ball for Harimau Malaysia, but what's also important is they're hitting their three point field goals. I mean, what an energizer Mak Long Seng, Mak Lok Seng has been. Coming off the bench here, Coach Edika. Yeah, very true. Right now, because Malo saying he knows he's the backup player. He's, once he's entered the court, he's going to give 100% hitting a three, get all those loose rebounds. And right now, his performance is really, really great. We're going to take this short break. We'll be back for the second quarter.
Everybody getting a kick out of the kiss cam. I wonder if Janine is going to be in the kiss cam anytime soon. But she does have this report. Go ahead, Janine. A lot of people betted against Kayla Sil in this tournament. And yet, here they are now, trading blows with Malaysia's national team on finals night. Assistant coach Yi Chun told me earlier, they have a lot at stake here. They want to prove themselves and show the nation that they are not just the B squad. They are the rising star. And tonight, they intend to stand their ground and make instant impact. Now back to the panel. Thank you very much, Janine Sakal. And instant impact to begin. In the second quarter, Megan Mahadevan getting uh, some room inside to score, Coach Erika. Yeah, you can see that right now, uh, Malaysia are up uh, against KLC with the, the transition point, level compared to six. Great pass inside, and you are right about this kid. Heng Yi Tong, the 21-year-old with a great assist, going to the veteran uh, quick. So 33 to 23, another 10-point lead. Great defense. This time from Lee Jing Hong. Let's see where they put this on because it might have also hit an Asil player as it went out. They are going to have a discussion. We can we can look at it here, right, now, uh, Coach Edika? Yeah, the replay say that. Oh, the ball hitting Wi Yong Gan just now at the foot. Right. But it doesn't pay to have size 15 feet sometimes. Yeah, it's really hard because Harimo Malaysia, all those players are 6 3 or 6 5 or both. That's right. You're gonna have a hard time finding shoes even in Genting. <laughs> Although we had no problem with that. Here's a three pointer again, offline for uh, Heng Yi Tong. Into the front door now, it is John Wong on the pull up. Not quite sure if that's what the, the coach wanted. So it is now gonna be Wong Yi Hao, he's the captain today. And an entry pass is denied. Fast break, this could be a solo. Going all the way for the layup, that is a miss, however. Coming from Wee Yong Gan. Uh, they need to score all those fast break points. Right, and both teams are trying to rush a little bit now. In transition, that's a miss. And we is going to get an easy one, Wee Yong Gan. Oh, yeah. uh, so like, uh, you don't have uh, slippery shoes right now. Yeah. Keep slipping down on the court. Well, 33 to 25, the lead is 8 for Harimau Malaysia. If you're just joining us, Harimau Malaysia was actually down 7 in the first quarter, but then led by as much as 10 points and had a 10-point lead at the end of the first 10 minutes of action. That's a bad pass coming from Harimau into the front court. One man to beat, and that's going to be a left-handed layup for Dewey Yang. Yeah, Dewey Yang straight away run to get the fast break point. Right now, you see John Wong become a trapper. Mm -hmm. He, they try to uh, rush the Harimau Malaysia to take a three point. Well, it said there's a layup, but it's a missed layup there. Coming from uh, Tem, G, uh, Tem Jen Jie. Transition three. Big one coming from Wee Yong Gan. <laughs> Looks like the, the Gun brother hitting <laughs> those, those three point again. They're not really related. They just have the same talent in the meantime. That will stop a 7-0 run for a seal. That hook shot coming from Wong Yi Hao. Mahadevan looking like a point guard bringing down the ball. That's going to be a reach in. A little overzealous on defense for a number 21 guy. That is Lee Jing Hong. Going to have three subs coming for Harimau and only Lim Chi Wei coming in for Kuala Lumpur Asil. So you got Mei Mei, you got Wei Long coming back in and also Anthony Liu. Yeah, you can see Coach Jeff, uh, when Kelasi make a run straight away, he put Mei Mei inside the court because he wants to stop the transition bleed. Shan Fu also back in for Harimau. Uh, Shan Fu had a lot of fans in the Philippines, I guess for obvious reasons. He looks like one of those K-pop stars, that's what they say. Yeah, it's really true. <laughs> Credit have to give to those guys because they are really, really daring to make all this haircut style. You know? Yeah, you know, just you have to stand by it. Really, that's really an amazing haircut though <laughs> that he's got. Here's Wei Yong Gan, another three, and the rebound picked up by Ong Wei Yong who just checked back into the game. Ong Wei Yong, oh, Quick was not ready for it, and luckily for Harimau, it was last touched by Wei Yong Gan. And Liu Wei Yong is going to check back in 
for Kuala Lumpur Seal. We got 6 and 48 remaining here in the first half of the championship game. It is so far so good for Harimau Malaysia. They're up by 5. They had a 10 point lead at the end of the first quarter, but it is now 35 to 30. And because of a lot of turnovers also being forced by Kuala Lumpur Seal. May May has one three pointer across his name. He's got five total. Hui Shan Fu. Drop pass inside, red by the defense, and that'll be last touched by Harimau. They have 4.9 to shoot. 4.9. Yeah, it's really seal, rather, last touch, yeah. yeah. Can I say, really, really uh, let Wei Yong to shoot the ball? Whoever got Wei Yong, they just straight away stand under the basket mm -hmm. and daring him to shoot the three. Well, he did have a three earlier. So did this guy, Mei Mei, as it batted out of his hands with 2.5 seconds remaining. Yeah, fantastic defense made by Kel Asil. And Jeff Vietnes is going to use a timeout. The uh, defense of Kuala Lumpur Asil is starting to tighten. But it is still Harimau Malaysia up 35 to 30. We'll be right back. Back with us here at the MABA Stadium. This is it, the final game of the Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship. Coming to you live here on our Facebook page. Ho, ho, ho! And even the big guy gets a three. That is Quick Chan Yuan. Yeah, but that's a sad uh, made by Coach Jeff. Huh? Where he's going to put Quick Chan Yuan to shoot over six footer, guys. That's right. 2.5 seconds on the shot clock when the six foot eight guy let it fly. Back to an eight point lead now for Harimau. Shot clock now at five, and there's going to be a blocking foul call. This could go against Quick. Yeah, you can see that Quick Chen is not um, no by his defensive play, but his three pointer. He's really, really tall. Who can hit the uh, three point? He's kind of the novice in Malaysia. <laughs> You're right. You know, I'm not. I'm not sure if did he was he part of the 2016 ASEAN Basketball League Championship. Yeah, he is. Oh. He is. He's the uh, our um, big guy for the tournament. Of course, that is the first and only time that the uh, KL Dragons won the ASEAN Basketball Championship in 2016 when you still had guys like Matthew Wright and I believe Jerry Kanyada was also on that team. Ah, uh, no, no. I Not think, uh, uh, no, no. Uh, Moala Tautua just. Moala uh, Tautua, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah. And there's going to be a sub. Looks like somebody's got a wound on the elbow, it appears. So we're going to have uh, Dewey Yang just having a very short rest. But I remember when Matthew Wright was here, he was just shooting everywhere. He is. He's, he's the best player shooting guard uh, that year. That's right. Uh, you can see the Matthew Wright right now playing in the Japan. Yes. And he's really, really good, you know. Oh, they're still in the backcourt. And a near steal was their possession, though. It appears that there was. There's Dewey Gan. Or Dewey Yang, rather, on the miss. Recovery made by John Wong. Nice head fake. Wee Yong Gan steps in. Left hand. Everything for the Nung guy. Number 18 guy, Wee Yong Gan. Down to a six point lead. Anthony Liu inside. He gets clobbered by the defense. Foul is going to go against Wong. It's really composed by Wee Yong Gan just now. Even yeah. though he's a five, I think he's five seven right now. <laughs> and he's taking shot over Anthony, which is a 6'5", six, yeah, six and Quack 6'6". Six, six. They're going to call the foul, actually, on Liu Wei Yong. 
So uh, and another guy, this uh, this kid, Anthony Liu. I remember the Philippines. They figured in a in a near brawl, <laughs> <laughs> and he was one of the guys who was trying to defend his teammates, trying to take on an entire Filipino team by himself. Yeah, he's a, a tough guy. Yeah, he he's he's become a, a enforcer in Malaysia. Yeah. You know, he's a big guy. What he's six five? This kid, somewhere in that area. And here is a miss coming from Dewey Yang. Battle for the loose ball. They're still on the ground. And uh, Nelson Chan's going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow points at Harimau. So 38 to 32 is our score. Looks like uh, Harimau Malaysia controlling the game, but Kela still like, keep coming back. Yeah, you just want to hang in there and just wait for your opportunity to get the lead. However, with no Megan Mahadevan again on the floor, it's sort of like a positionless basketball um, philosophy right now for KLSE, in, even on defense. Yeah, it's very true. KLSE are playing like zonal man right now. And Malaysia Harimau, they try to figure out what kind of defense they're playing. There's Ong Wei Yong right now. Nice cut here by Shan Fu. Almost taken away by Lim Chi Wei. Again, you cannot turn your head when Lim Chi Wei is somewhere in that area. He's so fast. Yeah, it's very, very fast uh, for his size body. And right now, um, I think Coach Jeff is not very, very happy with his team performance. Well, they still are ahead by six points. But they were up by ten earlier. Anthony Liu getting it out. Ong Wei Yong. Another three! Who said this kid can't shoot? And there's going to be a foul called. It looks like May May might be tagged for this one on the release. It is a pushing foul on May May. You see John Wong just now, he just no. looked at his coach like, are you sure let him open? Because he's hitting two trees right now. Well, you, they, uh, the scouting report says that he does not have a consistent three-point shot. Scouting reports could be wrong. <laughs> but today probably, at least. Yeah, probably in the final, I think. Yeah. Another three on its way. That is offline. Recovery made by John Wong. Shot clock did not reset. To Kuala Lumpur, they don't need to because there's the penetration coming from Dewey Yang. It is down to seven. 41 to 38, 34 rather, in favor of Harimau Malaysia. Wei Yong, another three. Good line, but just a little long. Quack throws it away. And it goes over now to Wei Yong Gan. And the hang time move doesn't work. Good defense that time by Shan Fu. Into the front court now with under four minutes remaining here in the second. Wei Yong to Ong Wei Yong. And now into the front court, it is Wei Yong Gan. Here's your mid range maestro, but the defense stood its ground. Mei Mei now into the front court. He will pull up for three. And Shan Fu out of nowhere for the offensive rebound. Ong Wei Yong looking for a friend. Gets it out to Shan Fu. Shot clock now at five for Harimau. Shan Fu deep three. Oh, and it's tapped over to Quick, and nobody's going to be able to stop that. Yeah, you can see that right now, uh, Harimau Malaysia go all those offensive rebounds. Quick now puts the lead up to nine, 43 to 34. It was 10 at the end of the first quarter, and it was trimmed down to six just a few moments ago. And here is Lim Chi Wei. <laughs> Ong Wei Yong, no fear, but no result. And they say last touch on the white shirts. It was like uh, Coach Kelly putting Megan back because uh, right now they cannot compete on the rebound department. So again, a shuffle of men for both squads. 43 to 36 is our score, however. Two minutes and 50 seconds remaining before we hit the halftime break. Another sub coming in, and this is going to be Wong Yi Hao, the captain. Coming in for Shan Fu. See that Coach Jeff right now are putting 2 2 1 press yeah. for Kelasil. He want to Kelasil to rush the shot, try to pressure Kelasil to make a turnover. Well, maybe they can get a turnover for them by them not even crossing the midcourt line, which is not the case now. Here's Tan Wei Long getting a big pick from Mahadevan. Tan getting it out now to Chan. 
Shot clock at eight. Nothing happening to the offense of Kuala Lumpur Seal. Tan Wei Long decides to drive and the kick out now. Lim Chi Wei, extra pass. That is patience. That's a patient and that's a vision by Lin Chi Wei right now, showing his class on the court. And the lead is now down to just five from a high of ten. Anthony Liu, bank shot, no. Mahadevan for another rebound. Coming up on two minutes remaining here in the first half. Tan Wei Long, Mahadevan in all sorts of entanglement. And a foul is going to be called a, an embracing foul coming from Mak Lok Seng. Yeah, this is where Megan, uh, he got advantage because once he's do the pick and roll, he need to roll hard to the basket. Yeah. You see, right now, Milo it cannot stop him posting up in the paint. Another sub coming in for Coach Jeff Viernes, but in the meantime, we're going to have a timeout called by Kuala Lumpur Asil. It was a 10-point lead for Harimau at the end of the first 10 minutes, and the Kuala Lumpur Asil has cut it down to five. We got two minutes and a second remaining here in the second quarter. Harimau Malaysia has been holding off Kuala Lumpur Asil, but slowly the confidence is starting to come in for Kuala Lumpur Asil. And now with Megan Mahadevan back in the lineup, we're going to see a lot of interior incursions now coming from uh, the Black Shirts. And there's one. They had tried, but Megan again was not in the right spot. And here is that point guard you're talking about, Coach Ediga. That is a layup coming from Heng Yi Tong. Yeah, you can see, once they got the ball straight away, they tried to push. Seven second offensive by Coach Jeff. Right, that was like less than three seconds that time. Underneath, good bother on the defense. Follow-up is good, coming from Tan Wei Long. And down to a five-point lead. Heng Yi Tong handing it over now to Lim Wen Xiong. Three-pointer is not there. So again, the three-pointer now not working for Harimau. Look at that. This guy's about 6'4", and he can handle the ball. This guy's about 6'7", and he can post up like that, but he's met by the defense. And Megan is looking for the foul. He might have a case, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. I think this is where Megan should be improved. Like, he needs to be composed once he's get the ball. Because right now, he can see two players are going after him. He needs to either go up straight strongly, or he needs to kick out the ball quickly. Well, 45 to 40, Megan goes back to the bench. He's been in and out of this game. He's not in foul trouble, uh, folks. He's actually got zero fouls in this game, but he only has two points as well. Here's Milo on the fake. That's a beautiful shot. So Maklok Seng increases the lead once again to seven points. 47 to 40, less than a minute remaining in the first half. Sung going over now to Liu. Oh, nice give and go coming from Liu to Sung. It looks like Liu have a composure right now. That turnover straight away do by Harimau Malaysia. And Yang, or make that Heng Yi Tong, looking at his teammate that time, Li Jing Hong, and saying, why, why weren't you there? Yeah, <laughs> Yi Hong was, was blocking just now by way long. Right. Then Yi Tong didn't see that. Then he expected that Yi Hao get the ball. But right now, Asil has the ball. And there's a difference of about 18 seconds between the clocks. So Asil is not in a hurry to go for a two-for-one here. Almost taken away once again. Here's Tan Wei Long penetrating. Can't get it to go. Recovery made once again by Harimau. Here's Heng Yi Tong. The penetration and a foul is going to be called. And acknowledging it is Chan Yu Tong. Interesting that uh, Kel Asil using 
Tan Wei Long as a point guard, point forward, I would say right. that. That every offense started with him. He's, he's the tallest guy on the floor for a seal, actually. We're going to have another timeout here for Coach Jeff Viernes and Harimau Malaysia. The lead is 5, 47 to 42. Only 14.8 seconds remaining in our first half of the uh, championship game of the Sports Click Field Basket International Championship. The winner walks away with the trophy. Of course, we will have awarding ceremonies later on. We are still not sure who is going to come away with the tournament MVP. That also happens at the end of this game. May May is back in. Being guarded now by Lim Chi Wei. Eight seconds remaining. May May makes his move. He wants to step back. He does. He fires the three. It's way off. Good defense by Asil. And from the backcourt. And that's how our first half comes to a close. With Harimau Malaysia leading by as much as 10. But now up 5 against Kuala Lumpur Asil in the championship game. 47 to 42 is our score. And of course, uh, your assessment of the first half, uh, Coach Adika. Yeah, you can see that uh, at first, Kela Sil are really, really good. They're pushing out the ball. They're using Megan as a feed uh, to open up the three-point shoot. And there's a first half, uh, I think Kela Sil made a three, three-point. And after that, Harimau Malaysia, they got the bench. They use all this bench to push and to try to make Kela Sil fatigue a little bit. And by then, they make a good, good comeback. But again, KL Asil not really playing their best basketball at the moment. Jeff Yernes will be the first to let you know about that. But KL Asil somehow just sticking close. And they are only down by five at the end of the first 20 minutes of action. Harimau Malaysia, 47. Kuala Lumpur Asil, 42. We are at the half and we will be right back.
to the light.
Hey, I'm giving you a halftime break. I'm giving you halftime prizes. Huh? Come on. Harima Malaysia, come on, where are you? That's more like it. KL Atsu, where are you? Nice one, nice one. Welcome to the Sports Click Field Basket International Championships Finals. Okay, we're gonna get people out here to shoot a three pointer. You make the three pointer, you walk away with one of these shirts right here. One of these shirts as well as a leaning sports bottle, okay? I'm gonna get some guests for us to come and choose these players. Can I invite Mayfield, Mafei, come on out. We're asking two more people to come out. Malaysia's slam dunk king. Mr. Tan Wing Jet, come on out. And finally, we have one of the women national team center candidates, always, is Hugh Kai Lee. Come on out, come on out. Okay, okay, I've briefed our guests. Every one of them is gonna go to one section. Wing Jet over there, Kylie over here, Ma Mafei, Mafei here, and I'll come over there, okay? So anyone that can shoot a three-pointer, we're gonna choose five people from each section. Right at the back there, guy with the camera, come on out, come on out. One more, last one, last one, last one, last one. Okay, this guy here, he's got a shirt already, but this guy here, come on out, come on out. Okay? So you get one of these shirts as well as a leaning sports bottle. Okay? So very easy, very easy game. Okay? Who wants to go first? You get three attempts each. Anywhere, anywhere along the line. Oh, oh, wing. Oh, what? 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 One's gone. One left. Who wants to step up? Who wants to step up? Okay, okay. No way two in a row. Come on, no way two in a row. Change ball as well. Come on. Let's go. Come on, game on the line. Come on. Oh, close. No good enough. Who's next? Asiuda, we want to choose a Asiuda. This Asiuda fan, ah. Okay, come out then. Okay. Ah, now you don't raise your hand. You're gonna miss your shot. Oh my God! What? 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I asked people to come out first. I thought it's going to take longer than two shots, man. I honestly thought it's going to take longer than two shots. 
Are you sure or not? Hey, okay. We'll give you one chance. Ah, he set it. Ah, you need to plan. You need to plan. Okay? You need to plan. Crowd. One more. Oh, that's it. Oh, I'm not even touch the hand. Okay, I'm not even touch the hand. Come on. No. 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 Yes. No. Yes. No. One more. No. No more. Do you got? Okay. Okay. Let's do this. We get one more from each section. One more from each section. Okay. One more from each section. You want to be a trainee? Go. Oh, hey, the tournament heard you. How many more two more Two more shirts up for grabs. Two more shirts. So be aggressive. Who wants to take the next? I got one shooter here. He's hard. He's already got a ball. Call next. Come on. Okay, line up. Line up behind him. Okay, take the shot. No three shots left. One time. Three, two. Oh. Unlucky, unlucky. Okay, we got next. We got next. Grab the rebound if you want the next shot. Come on. Let's go. BT kicks in the house. Oh, way off. No good, no good. Let's go. Who's next? Who's next? Oh, we got a big guy in here. Come on. Let's go. Three point. Oh, oh. unlucky. Come on, two more shirts. You got the ball. Next one's you. Oh, not good enough, bro. Okay, come on, come on. Next two. The two are so far. Who says the next two? Come on, let's go. Come on, take the ball. Get your shot. So loud, uh. Please, be able to see you, sir. Ah. Go, 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 go. We need two more. Come on, let's go. Oh, close enough, bro. Close enough. Ayo Nali. Oh, oh my God! The first two so fast, ah. You guys so confident, ah. We got one more left. Last one left. Come on, three pointer. Make it. Get the shirt. Come on. We got three. One more left. Hey, grab the ball. Come on. Oh, there you go. Sorry, guys. The rest of you guys. Sorry, sorry. We already have four winners. Four winners. Hey, you have four winners. Okay, okay. Stay right here. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for participating. Okay, we're gonna give out the shirts now. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for participating. Okay, we're gonna give out the shirts now. Okay, let's go into the middle. Let's go into the middle. Uh, Wing Jet, please give us a shirt. Please give us a shirt. Hey, you have a section or not? Congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations. Hey, there are two people, there are two people. Come on, come on, come on. 两个一是有的。Okay, last one, last one, last but not least. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you very much to everyone here. We hope it's gonna be a close game in this one. And uh, I'm gonna hand it back to the table.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, back with us here at the Maba Stadium. We had a lot of festivities. Meng did a great job giving away prizes, but the thing is, Coach Ediga, he didn't give any for us. Yeah, I kind of disappointed with Meng right now. Yeah, Meng didn't give any prizes for us. You didn't leave any for us, man. What's up with that? But, of course, we do have a lot of basketball to still talk about here. At the half, it is still Harimau ahead 47-42 to against the uh, Kuala Lumpur Seal. We are waiting for Janine Sakal to get a, uh, an interview but let's just talk about once again this first half that we just uh, that we just witnessed here. What a start for Kuala Lumpur Asil. They led by as much as seven points at one point, but then at the end of that first quarter was a ten point lead for Harimau. Yeah, yeah, uh, Noel. You can see that the first half uh, that the Kuala Lumpur like that pushed the transition everything, and uh, credit to need to give to Malaysia Harimau where their bench player yeah really really supporting the first team. That's they, they score. Uh, 25 to 6. Well, of course, the bench uh, player that he, we're going to be talking to right now is the leading scorer of the game. Mak Lok Seng is with our Janine Sakal. We have here our leading scorer in the first half, Milo. So Milo, you came off the bench with so much energy and it's because of you that your team is leading. Oh, okay. Um, uh, uh, I just doing myself consistently. And yeah, because of my coach always motivate me and tell me what to do every game and yeah, he tell me to do it, do it consistently. Yep. Right, consistently. Now, how do you plan to sustain this lead? Uh, just focus on my defense, on my on my defense and my offense, and with the right attitude. Right. Yep. Focus on defense and with the right attitude. And now let's bring it back to the panel. He was very shy to be interviewed there, but he is not shy about his exploits on the floor. He's the only guy in double figures right now, Coach Etika. Yeah, yeah, you can see uh, on the screen right now that uh, Malo Seng really contribute to the uh, Harimau Malaysia. And you can see credit to Harimau Malaysia that uh, Kelasi doesn't have a free throw attempt that at the is moment. Right. That is uh, right. They contest without playing any foul. And they and are shooting well from the outside as well, Harimau Malaysia. Three, yeah, three point shots. Yeah, compare compared to KLRC. Right now, you can see the uh, assists where they always push the ball and find a wide open man to hit the three. Well, the rebounding, of course, negligible at this point. But Kuala Lumpur, Asil, they're known to be the shooting team. But only nine three-point attempts in that first half. They were forced to go inside. Let's see if the presence of uh, Megan Mahadevan is going to change that here in the second half. And we have that for you right now, right here at the Maba Stadium. Noel Zarate with Coach Isgran Edika and, of course, Janine Sakal. This is it, the final game of the Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship. And right there, John Wong opens the scoring with a jumper. It's down to three. Yeah, I can see. John Wong, uh, he's a very, very versatile player. He can play point guard and power forward at the same time. Oh. And right now, Coach Keely putting him as a oh. point guard. <laughs> Who said this guy can't shoot? That's his third three-pointer. We're talking about Ong Wei Yong. Uh, Wei Yong showing his three-point where the Scotty Ripple is kind of wrong right now at the moment. Unable to get position inside is Dewey Yang. And he throws it away, and there's going to be a hold by Megan Mahadevan. That is his first foul, trying to stop May May from advancing. Yeah, right now, right now, just now I saw um, Coach Kili try to talk to Megan because Megan right now is kind of frustrated with himself mm -hmm. because he keep turning the ball over and over again because of the double team. Coach Kili was saying to him, like, you need to be composed, wait for the double team and find the right player. Well, again, he brings down the ball as well, so the guards can actually just tap it out of his hand. That's exactly what Mei Mei did in that last play. Here is Wong Yi Hao trying to get it to Quek. Quek might have traveled that time, got away with it. Here's Anthony Liu now. Nine on the shot clock for Mei Mei, who's facing up against Sung Ka An. 
Maymay puts it on the floor. The drive. Oh, off the wrong leg. That's a great shot there from Ting Chun Hong. Yeah, lovely layup made by Maymay. And credit have to give to Anthony where he's still Megan because Megan cannot show Maymay block. Right. The lead is now up to eight points once again. 52 to 44. Somebody was not in his spot for KLSEL. Looks like Kalasi keep turning the ball over. I think this is the second turnover in the row. Yeah. Right now, they need to be focused and back up for Harimau Malaysia attack. A chance to extend once again to a double-digit spread. A near steal, however, coming from Wee Yong Gan. And they say it is a turnover. So last touch on Harimau Malaysia. Just underway here in the third. 8 and 35 to play. Championship game. Two Malaysian teams, of course, going at it. Third place today was picked up by the Pilipinas Aguilas when they defeated MBC. Another three on its way. That is a miss coming from John Wong and the last touch, Mahadevan. Right now, right now, you can see uh, Coach Kilip asked them to play a pick and roll game between Megan, where they wanted Megan to roll hard to the basket. Well, Megan Mahadevan, Coach uh, Edika, has only got two points in this game. He has been struggling on offense. Quick, is he struggling with that shot, perhaps? But he hit a three-pointer earlier. Bodies on the floor right now. Kuala Lumpur is still trying to push this one up. We Yong Gan can't get it to go. Rebound picked up here by Wong Yi Hao. Shovel pass over now to Wei Yong. And Anthony Liu on the drive. Suspends himself in midair. Here's a late call from Nelson Chan. And that will be two free throws coming up on the foul against Sung Ka An. Yeah, right now, Kelasi need to be a little bit composed right now because this is their third foul. Whenever uh, Harimau Malaysia drive to the basket, they keep committing the foul. And they need to be composed and let Megan try to block the shot because Megan have foul to give. Well, Mei Mei, one of the most consistent free throw shooters perhaps in Southeast Asia. <laughs> yeah, true Noel. I hope this uh, Mei Mei, after this tournament, he can go outside the ball and try uh, his luck at the international level. Yeah, you know, I've been hearing that Mei Mei does have offers uh, to play abroad. Uh, probably the most uh, interested country would be Taiwan right now. And uh, there, I believe he just has a few more obligations to fulfill here in uh, Malaysia before by uh, 2023. We might see Mei Mei actually play abroad. Megan Mahadevan gets it out. Ball reversal now. Three-pointer on its way. That is a miss, however, coming from Dewey Yang. The lead is 10 for Harimau Malaysia and the Asil faithful have become quiet here in the second half. Liu momentarily open. They go now to uh, Yi Hao on the turnaround. Battle for the rebound and Di Wee Yang couldn't hang on to it. Anthony Liu takes a spill. You can see the present Megan in defensive part where uh, Yi Hao tried to post Wee Gun and Megan right there tried to help. Well, they're going to insert more height right now. How do you make that uh, Kuala Lumpur a seal will with uh, Tan Wei Long coming into the game to replace uh, Sun Ka An. So that's a very tall lineup now for Kuala Lumpur a seal. Yeah, they want to get all those rebounds and try to push the ball because their three point right now is not really, really there. Almost a steal coming there from uh, the defense of Kuala Lumpur a seal. So shot clock at 11 seconds right now. 7.19 remaining in the third. Arimau Malaysia undefeated and up by 10. Quick inbounds now to Anthony Liu. Here's Mei Mei getting the pick now from Liu. Mei Mei forced that one up. Oh, draws a foul. And that is a lot of frustration coming now from the side of Kuala Lumpur Zealand. They're starting to boo the uh, call here from Nelson Chan. Yeah, look at the replay right now. The Wee Yong Gun. Yeah. Oh, that was close. That was close. That right now, Coach Kili right now, no, set the first with the referee right now. He asking for a replay, review. I don't know if this is a grounds for a challenge here. That I don't think that's part of the, the, the list where you can challenge a call. Oh, you're letting... You, that, yeah, SEAL fans are letting you know how they feel about yeah, that. Very true nowhere right now. And Coach Kilim is going back there, trying to complain to the ref. So it's like the referee need to do a better job. And just look at the free throw stories. Oh, Mei Mei, that's a rare miss at the free throw line. You did mention a SEAL zero free throws in the first half. 
Yeah, just now, Mei Mei missed the free throw and one of the bench players, ball don't lie. Oh, ball don't lie. Mei Mei now smiling because he's missed two in a row. This is a rarity for one of the best shooters, if not the best shooter in Malaysia. Third one drops, so this is now the largest lead of the game. <laughs> and the Hanimal fans come alive. <laughs> the Rav right now, the fans right now. 55-44, biggest lead of the game now for Harimau. Megan Mahadevan puts it on the floor, attracts the double team as usual. They get it outside to Tanwei Long. Open momentarily is John Wong getting it inside now to Megan. Bullying his way in, but he can't get the layup to drop. And that will be his second personal foul. It looks like May, uh, Megan do a really, really fantastic drop. You can see the replay right now. He just need a composure. Use his left hand, trust yeah. more on left hand to put it uh, the ball in the basket. Well, he was very frustrated about that. That is his second personal, as we said. And he is going to be lifted out of the game. Liu Wei Yong is going to come in. So still a pretty tall lineup here for Kuala Lumpur Asil, but you are missing the services of your biggest guy. Megan Mahadevan has to sit down. And bad news also for Asil. They are already over the team foul limit. Ong Wei Yong, this time with a miss. And long rebound picked up once again by Yi Hao. Mei Mei on the drive, tries to leave it for a teammate. Instead, it goes to a black shirt. Into the front court right now is Wei Yong Gan. Can't finish the layup. Great defense that time by Yi Hao. Ong Wei Yong going cross court. Mei Mei for three. Yes! Push Kili. Coach Kili really, really mad at the referee right now. There's no free throw. And Coach Kili go at the ref. And now, crew chief Nelson Chan is going over to the coach and saying, we're not going to call anything on you if you behave. But now a 14-point lead for Harimau Malaysia, 58-44. to Mei Mei has struck again. As we take a look at some of the highlights so far here, in this third quarter, but we will step away for just a few moments. Harimo Malaysia 58, Kuala Lumpur Seal 44. Six minutes and 19 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Suddenly, after Harima was just ahead by three points to begin this third, they now have their biggest lead of the game, Coach Eddie, got 58 to 44. Yeah, the main point right now is uh, Harima Malaysia doesn't make any foul compared to KLC. They are over the limit right now. Double team meeting that time, Yu Wei Yong. Oh, in the game right now with an ankle breaker and a three coming from Lim Chi Wei, the 19 year old. And just like that, it is just down. It was a long two. They called it a long two. Anthony Liu tied up. And that's going to be a dribbling violation against Liu. Right now, Chi Wei tried to lift up uh, Kelasi Spiri. We do the ankle breaker over Mimi, yeah. the number one player in Malaysia. I'm, I'm a big fan of this kid, number seven guy, uh, Lim Chi Wei. He's probably just like, uh, what, one level away from being uh, called to the national training pool, I would think. Yeah, right now, he's. I think he's got the potential. Yeah. Right now, he needs to fit into this Jeff, Coach Jeff uh, system. Well, Coach Viernes, Coach Jeff Viernes used to wear the number seven when he was a player, if you, if you didn't know. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, he used to wear the number seven as a player. And uh, this kid... Lim Chi Wei is wearing Jeff Viernes' number, probably sending a message to Jeff Viernes saying, hey, you know what? I take you on one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, he might not win <laughs> <laughs> on, on Jeff Viernes. He's still a pretty crafty player. In fact, he played the other day. I think he scored like 20 points in one of the friendlies that we had here. Ah, Jeff yeah. Viernes, I think, suited up for, uh, not the mistaken, Makabayan Warriors. And he still scored 20 points. And he says that none of his team, uh, his members of his team can beat him one-on-one. -on -one. I don't doubt that right now. <laughs> a miss from the outside coming from Wee Yong Gan. 
Almost an interception. May May getting it inside to Yi Hao and acknowledging the foul is Wu Yong Gan. Foul number 18, Yong Gan. Penalty situation now facing Kuala Lumpur as seal and now you're sending a guy who's really improved a lot, Wong Yi Hao. Not only has he improved, it looks like he even grew taller. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Yeah. I saw that uh, I used to play with him uh, during his uh, 18 years old. And during that time, he was like 6 feet and right now he's like 6'4", six, 6'5". Four, 6'4", six, yeah, six, six, you're right. And he continues to grow. I was telling the story about Larry Liu. Uh, one of the players uh, from from Adroit, when he joined the Singapore Slingers, he was six foot six one. Then he had a growth spurt. He's now six five, but he still plays guard. <laughs> <laughs> so two free throws drop by Yi Hao. Quick offense here, trying to get some points back. Tough fall away there, coming from Liu Wei Yong. So here's a seal once again, just hanging in there without Megan Mahadevan on the floor. That could have been a travel. They got away with again. And here is Mei Mei coming up with a miss. Battle for the loose ball. There's the dive and the recovery by Lim Chi Wei. What an effort that time. Coming from the team of Kuala Lumpur Seal. And the layup. Oh, that would have been a great punctuation mark to that play. Instead, Yi Hao will finish with a hook shot. Uh, right now, uh, Harimau Malaysia really, really uh, taking the advantage. Once Kelasi do the turnover, straight away they right. push the ball. That was a four-point swing, a missed layup on one end and a made layup on the other. Tan Wei Long getting it out now to Lim Chi Wei. Shot clock now at seven. The penetration, pull up, that's not gonna work from uh, Wei Yo Gan. 62 to 48 is our score. Mei Mei has it stripped and that's gonna go the way of Kuala Lumpur Asil, it appears that Mei, Mei might have kicked the ball after it was already stolen. And you see the replay right now, Mei, Mei tried to burst Yi Wei Gan. Uh, I'm not sure what the ref called just so. so we are going to have the veterans uh, sit down. Uh, Yi Hao actually is going to sit down along with Quek, returning as Shan Fu. And Milo, who had a great first half by scoring double figures. Here's Yu Wei Yang. Lim Chi Wei working the left side right now. Series of screens trying to free up some of his teammates. Penetration now by Joshua Gan who's in the game. Penetration now by Liu. They get it out. Lim Chi Wei. Great patience being shown. Joshua Gan can't get it to go. And the rebound picked up by Mei Mei. We got less than four minutes remaining here in the, in the third quarter. Offensive foul will be called on Wee Shanfu. They're all afraid of Nelson Chan. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all Zing Fu saying that Chiwi flopping right there to get the offensive foul. He might actually have a point, but the call was already made. And Nelson Chan, you know, you, you, you've seen this guy in action. He's strict. You go out of line, he'll call you. Uh, call a technical. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's a good ref. He's controlling the pace and the uh, fall of the player. He don't want the game become out of control. That's right, especially against the two most popular teams in Malaysia. And a baseline jumper is dropped by Lim Chi Wei. Fast break, however, going the other way for Harimau. Quick turnaround off the glass. Lim wants long. Just like Coach Jeff uh, was asking his player to play zone a little bit because he want to there, Kelasil to shoot the ball. Oh, what a tough shot there. That was a great effort coming from Dewey Yang with no rebounders. Lead is down to 12, but again, Kuala Lumpur Asil cannot afford to trade baskets. Shan Fu has it almost taken away. That's going to be last touched by the Black Shirts. Well, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. It looks like the refs might have made the right call. Yeah, but the Kelasi player and Coach Kili right now asking for the video review. This is something that you can review. This is something that you can overturn. Nelson Chan gives him a chance. They are going to the IRS on this one. If he wins this challenge, he gets to keep his challenge. That's the best part about the challenge system. But if he loses this challenge, that's it. 
for the rest of the game. Ah, I see. He's got one is challenge he, for half. It's not like the NBA, like you burn the timeout. No, when you burn a timeout, yes. Oh, uh, at, no, you don't burn a timeout here. You lose the challenge. Timeout is not charged to you. But they get a free timeout anyway. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you go to leagues like the PBA during the challenge or during a review like this, players are not allowed to approach the bench. Because it's, it's like, you know, you're, we're, nobody call a timeout, so why are you going to huddle? Ah, I see. Yeah, so you're usually, and I think the NBA is starting to follow suit here as well. But for the IRS, under FIBA rules, it's a stoppage in play, so you can huddle. And they need to have definitive proof that this has to be overturned. Otherwise, if, it's, if it cannot be proved in any of, the, uh, any of the angles, then the call stays. And what happens if the call stays, a SEAL loose, loses their challenge. There you go. Referee Nelson Chan with the rest of our hard-working crew here in the uh, video system. That's WOW Broadcast. Amazing group of guys. I'm sure you work with them many times, Coach Erika. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I worked with them a few times. But I think this is the first time that we implement the IRS in the tournament. No, and we did it many times already yeah. in the tournament. This is like the fifth challenge already or the sixth challenge that we've seen here already. And they have lost the challenge. Again, there was no definitive proof for them. It has to be an overwhelming proof that you can reverse the call. That did not happen. So not only does Harimau keep possession, Asil loses their challenge. That's it. They can't challenge anymore. So you got one challenge per quarter? Perhaps. Quarter. Perhaps. Oh, oh, okay. A loose ball now. They didn't need that, actually, because they're still able to take the ball away, and this could actually be the spark for a seal. Lim Chi Wei got caught inside, tries to steal it back, but runs out of space. He might have been able to get the layup if he had tried for it. Yeah, yeah, but, but you can see Milo standing over there, like, try to dare him to take the layup. And it looks like Chi Wei, like, he tried to take over the game. He can. Oh, but this is coming off the bench right now. Yu Jiahao with his first basket of the game, and it's a three. It's now up to 15, the lead of Harimau, Malaysia. Lim Chi Wei, Liu, they swing it around now to Tan Wei Long. Joshua Gan has to kick it out. Lim Chi Wei, they're looking for him. Four seconds to shoot right now. Di Wei Yang has to put this one up. Can't get it to go. And things are starting to fall apart for a seal and a turnover forced. Good defense by Liu Wei Yong. And now Megan Mahadevan has to come back into the game. They need this inside presence. I'm really wondering, Coach Edika, why he's in and out of the game right now. Uh, right now you can see that uh, Megan, I think uh, Coach Kili tried to cool him off at the moment. And you can see right now Coach Jeb is not satisfied with the refereeing because he saw Kela Seal keep doing a Tic Tac foul to the Harimau Malaya, but in the end, the referee just ignored him and resumed the play. Well, they are still up by, uh, what's this, 15 points, 67 to 52. We have under two minutes remaining here in the third. Liu getting it inside. Megan, a second basket of the game, Coach Etika. Yeah, I hope that this, this position keep Megan wake up and he need to really, really uh, dominate inside the paint. Down to 13. They get the ball into the baseline. Great challenge, however, coming here from Yu Wei Yong. He's been an X Factor on defense. And here is Tan going for the layup. Megan trying to follow it up. That's not going to count. I think the layup would have gone in if Megan had not interfered with it. Yeah, that's, that's the composure that Megan needs. You, need, you see that the ball is around the cylinder. And straight away, Megan tried to dunk it. Oh, yeah. it's a bad, bad possession by uh, Kelasil. That's not, that's not the right thing to do. You cannot hang on to the rim and try to get the rebound at the same time. Luckily, he wasn't called for a technical foul on that one. Shan Fu for three. Yes! <laughs> Lead up to 16 now, 70 to 54. Coming up on the final minute here in the third. Tan Wei Long. Going cross court now to Liu. Tan Wei long for three. He tries to track it down and he does. But he stepped out of bounds. 
Uh, right now, like Kela still need to take a time out, I think, because he's in, they are not scoring and this lead stretching. Well, Kea Lasil has already burned one timeout here in the third quarter. They only have two remaining for the rest of regulation. Wee Young Gan taking a very short rest. He's back in the game. So time down to 52.3 seconds remaining in the third. 70 for Harimau Malaysia. 54 for Kuala Lumpur Asil. Not yet panic time for Asil, but they're getting pretty close. Yu Jiahao lost the ball. Outlet pass right now, and this could be a touchdown. It is for Wei Yong Gan. Down to a 14 point lead, 70 to 56, 30 seconds to go. Here in the third, pick and roll does not materialize. Steal by Megan Mahadevan. Into the front court, a two on one developing. They go to the three pointer, that is a miss. Megan gets another offensive rebound. Over now to the jumper for Lim Chi Wei. Back-to-back -back baskets now for Kuala Lumpur. See yeah, Coach that's, you can see Noel right now. That's the mega advantage. Whenever he's inside the court, he straight away go to get the offensive rebound. And Harimau Malaysia, pretty hard to score under the basket. And they couldn't get the last shot off. So some positives going into the fourth quarter for Kuala Lumpur. Seal. They were able to cut that 16-point lean down to 12. However, that is still a tough mountain to climb. They do have 10 more minutes to get it done. At the end of three, it is Harimau Malaysia, 70. Kuala Lumpur, a seal, 58. You gotta love the love cam that we have here at the Maba Stadium. But before we get the fourth quarter started, we send it now to Janine Sakal. Despite leading in the first half, Coach Jeff was not pleased in the dugout earlier. And it was because they were giving the opposing backcourt too much confidence over them. For Harimau Malaysia, it's not just a championship title at stake here tonight. Their performance in this tournament can be an indicator of their chances in the Mongolian qualifiers next month. Now back to the panel. Yeah, this is a lot of preparations for a lot of things here as well, Coach Edika. It's not just about this, although getting the championship here would be sweet. But there are a lot of things that the Malaysian national team is preparing for. Yeah, yeah. As, as you know that they are preparing for the upcoming tournament, for I think a two tournament. Yeah. And you can see that they are improving a lot uh, in this tournament, you know. Right now in this final game, they haven't like give Kelas a free throw at hand. Well, Tem Genji is able to get the three-pointer to drop. That lead has climbed to 15 once again with just one shot. Lim Chi Wei doesn't look like he's taking a seat anytime soon. He has been orchestrating very well in this comeback effort. Getting it over now to Megan Mahadevan. Only one defender to beat. Megan misses. Tip in too strong. But he got what he wanted. There's more of that where it came from later on. Ong Wei Yong is back in the game. 
Tim just hit a three-pointer earlier. Wants another one. Now he penetrates. That is tapped by Megan Mahadevan once again. So the long arms of Megan. And that's going to be a reach-in foul. That's going to be called against Harimau Lim Wan Siong. Yeah, right now, Coach Jeff are uh, rotating his player yeah. and he put Nicholas Tam, number seven, who hit a three-point as soon as he entered the court. Contact against Megan came first, allegedly. There was a forearm there. So 73 to 58. Just over a minute gone by here in the fourth. Again, this is the final game, the championship game. All of the Filipinos who played here are leaving tomorrow. They're all going to be on the same plane, so nobody's going to be able to sleep going back to the Philippines. <laughs> going to have a bunch of noisy Filipinos on the airplane. Megan Mahadevan, again, point-blank range, missing that time. And it is last touched by Asil. Uh, so that Mega has scored only four points in this game right now. Yeah. And he's really, really disappointed with his performance. But because he has to keep trying though, coach. Yeah, he need to, he need to, he need to score all those easy baskets because right now he needs to be a composer a little bit just to put the ball inside the basket. Some pressure now being shown by Asil. Here's Lim. Milo wants some space, gets it out, jumper, that is good! Coming from Lee Jing Hong, and he has been a surprise off the bench. Now a 17-point lead, which is the largest in the game, and could be more after the turnover. Hong Wei Yong now makes it a 19-point lead. Dudes like uh, Kela a little bit struggle to break the 2-2-1 defense made by Harimau Malaysia. Different look once again on defense for Jeff Viernes. Mahadeva now on the post, on the spin, and he will get it to go, bless the foul. Great move do by Megan, spin and go hard to under basket. This is what Megan need to improve a lot. He need to be, keep it simple right there. And I'm actually looking at Megan Mahadeva now. He has also trimmed down since his days in the Philippines uh, just last summer. Where he was a little on the chubby side. Now he's a little, packed a little bit of muscle right now. Pretty much like my partner right here, uh, Coach uh, Isran Edika. <laughs> All muscle. Biceps. That's what we're talking about, right, Coach? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the first uh, few throw for KL Asil, huh? It is. That's a good. That's a good point. Good observation. And they don't even convert on it. Hong Wei Yong almost ran out of space. Jumper again. This time it's a miss coming from Lim. And pushing it out now. Pushing it out now is Liu Wei Yang. Good fake and a baseline jumper that is too strong. Battle for the rebound. Last touched by Harimau. <laughs> And sometimes the effort actually pays off. The aggressive team gets a little bit of a, a break there. Kuala Lumpur Asil is going to call another timeout. They only have one remaining for the rest of regulation. It is a 17-point lead for Harimau Malaysia, 77-60. to 60. Seven minutes and 40 seconds to go in the final period. Harimau Malaysia up by 17, 77 to 60 over Kuala Lumpur. Asil Noel Zarate still with coach Isran Edika and Janine Sakal. This is it, the final game here in Malaysia for the Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship. We hope to be back here. You guys have been tremendous hosts. Here's Megan Mahadevan. Still can't get it to go. The defense meeting him every time. 
And they say ball possession to Harimo as Megan goes over to see one of the guys that he accidentally hit on the mouth. Yeah, that's going to be Li Jing Hong. It's one thing to get hit in the mouth. It's one thing to get hit in the mouth with a uh, guy who has biceps like that, though. Yeah, <laughs> it's very true, though. <laughs> if I would dare, like, standing up in front of Megan to, hit, to take the hit, you know? Well, that is a foul on Megan Mahadev, and that will be... Oh, they, they didn't call it on Megan. That's his second foul. So 77 to 60. Ong Wei Yong, three three-pointers in this game. Another three, perhaps? Coming from Jen, no. So Jen Jay comes up empty, but they do get the offensive rebound as we come up on 17 minutes, or make that seven minutes remaining in this fourth quarter. And suddenly, Harimau is starting to miss. Here's Di Wei Yang. Going cross-court once again. Three-pointer on its way, that one is short. Last touch on Harimau. Now right now, DB guy need to, to hit the three point. And we got now sub by judge yeah, Joshua Gun. Yeah, the guns are su subbing each other right now. Now it looks like uh, Coach Kilim need to try all his shooter to get inside the game. Well, they have not really been very consistent from beyond the arc to this point. Here's Joshua Gun. Getting it over to the side now, three-pointer. That is another miss coming from Dewey Yang. And to the front court, a great fast break for Harimo. That was an assist from Lim going to Lee. Lee is 19 right now. Joshua Gan has it poked away. He recovers and fires it, yes. Looks like Joshua Gan who made the three. He said, oh, we Gan. So the gun's starting to become active, but that's still a 16-point lead that they need to overhaul. Genji going over to Ong Wei Yong, three-pointer. His fourth three-pointer of the game! Just like Ong Wei Yong wants to be the MVP in this final game. But well, we haven't seen Mei Mei in the fourth quarter yet. Three-pointer to get it back, that is offline. And Megan Mahadeva is gonna touch this one last. So Megan Mahadevan's going to take a seat. I don't know how long he's going to rest right now, but they are down by 19. 82 to 63. And like it's like the shoe is on the other foot. Harimau is actually shooting better from beyond the arc over Asil. Yeah, very true that. I didn't expect a Wee Yong, Wee Yong gun like hitting 4-3 in this game. Yeah. Four three-pointers already for uh, Ong Wei Yong as well. Jen Jie almost lost it, recovers, block from behind. Good defense there coming from Tan Wei Long. And he still has the ball in his hand, so he's now playing power or point forward. And he can shoot this as well. Three pointer from Soon. Ong Wei Yong with the recovery. Oh, how about a transition three coming up? That is offline from Lim Wan Siong. Coming up on the halfway mark of the fourth quarter. A floater is good, coming from Liu Wei Yong. Just like Coach Jeff Sat, he's all his starter to get back inside the game. Right, they, I believe there's four subs coming in. Wei Yong directing traffic. Shot clock now at eight for Harimau. They're starting to stick closer to him right now. One second on the shot clock. Three-pointer again. That would have been the dagger if he had made that one. <laughs> Even with a total of four minutes remaining. Four and a half minutes, that is. Ji Wei Yang. They're still trying to look for their offense. That is a wild shot. But a steal. Three-pointer on its way. That is in and out. And credit the hustle for Milo for keeping that alive. We come up now on four minutes to go. Harimau Malaysia might start to befriend the clock at this point with a 17-point lead. Kakela still need to play man-to-man -man right now to put the pressure on Harimau Malaysia because Ong Wei Yong just 
keep calm and direct all his offensive player. Well, that's going to be a shot clock violation. That will not count. And here come the starters now for Jeff Viernes. Four-man sub for Hanimau. And the final effort, uh, final effort it appears, for Kuala Lumpur Asilas, Lim Chi Wei and uh, John Wong are going to check in. And we're also going to have another sub and, uh, coming in from Harimau as Heng Yi Tong is going to give Ong Wei Yong a lift. 3.49 to go in the championship game. Here's Tan Wei Long. They move it around now to Lim Chi Wei. On the reverse layup, that one is good for Joshua Gan. And away you see that Joshua Gan loved to move without the ball. And uh, Chi Wei spot him under the basket and straight away reverse layup made by him. That was a pretty reverse layup, no less. Liu getting it out. Three-pointer. That one was bothered a bit by the defense. That's going to roll out of bounds. And go back to Kuala Lumpur Asil. 82 to 67 is our score with only 3 minutes and 11 seconds to go. So it is minor miracle time now for Kuala Lumpur Asil. Yeah, they need to hit a 3 point right now because they are down really, really a lot. Let's see what John Wong does with it. Gets it over now to Liu. Shot clock winding down. 10 to shoot now for Kuala Lumpur Asil. Liu on the fake, moves in closer. That one will bounce out. Boy, even the luck factor is starting to escape. Kuala Lumpur Asil. Yi Hao, let's burn some clock, he says. And Asil is not doing anything to try and pressure Wong Yi Hao, but they do take it away. And to the front court right now, Liu. Can't get the three. Lim Chi Wei for three. Can't get it off the glass either. And I think the bench of Kuala Lumpur, Asil, is already smiling, thinking that we might have done enough, but it's not going to be enough. Yeah, very too, Noel. Because end of the day, we know that Harimau Malaysia is the number one team in Malaysia. They are the national team. Mm -hmm. And... Credit must be given to KLAC, which is their give fight for the first third quarter. Yeah. You can see that they give a tremendous play and shooting three display. And, you know, end of the day, we can see that Harimau Malaysia really, really like the next level. Mei Mei now, as the last two minutes is announced, Mei Mei can't get it to go. Rebound, Yi Hao, and collision that time with him and uh, Wee Yong Gan. So neither team in the penalty at this point, with a minute and 56 remaining. So Yi Hao is going to be called for the foul. And it looks like now, after the starters have come in, Coach Jeff Viernes is going to pull them out one by one. This appears to be a one game already with a 15-point lead. A minute and 56, although I've seen a 15-point lead disappear with a minute and 43 remaining in the ABL. Oh. Yeah, Slingers against Hong Kong 2016. Hong Kong host. Leakey hits three in a row. Then uh, Marcus Elliott hits one. And they hit another three-point play to send it into overtime. I wonder who's the Leakey for Kela Seal. All right, that's a, that's a good answer. And we're going to have a timeout. The last one in the game now for Kuala Lumpur Asil. 82 to 67, a minute and 41 remaining. Can they still do it? We'll find out when we return.
So with 1 minute and 41 seconds remaining, the lead is 15 points for uh, Harimau. Kayla Seal has possession, but this is already major miracle uh, time, uh, Coach Erika. Yeah, it is. What Kayla Seal need to do is hit a quick three and straight away full, uh, press the full court. Because right now they're really, really uh, ru running out of the time. That pass is batted away, hits the side of the board. Well, it hits actually the bracket. That's what they're saying right now. Meme could not keep it in bounds. We see it again. It hit the bracket. And that's going to give Asil the ball back again with nine seconds remaining. 137 to go. Oh, offensive foul is going to be called, and that could end the rally aspirations now for Kuala Lumpur Asil. Now Joshua Gan will be called for the offensive foul. We see in the replay just now, Joshua Gan elbow. Oh, oh there it is. Face right there. That was a solid hit there taken by Tanway Long. Again, neither team in the penalty. Both actually have three fouls on it. Ankle breaker right there. Drop pass inside, Anthony Liu, Omega Umeimei, getting the layup. So Meimei now up to 15 points in this game. Final minute and 13 remaining in the championship game. John Wong, Omega Liu getting away and he's gonna draw the foul. So Liu Wei Yong. We'll get to the free throw line. And again, these are rare free throws for a seal in this game, Coach Edika. That's very true. That. I think Bet Tenyan just now, he was everything that you straight away go up. And you can see Bet Tenyan hands in the cylinder of you. Well, Tan Chi Seng is going to come in along with Tez Jong Shin. One oh five to play. So it's starting to look now like it has been for the entire fourth quarter, like a Harimau victory. They will stay undefeated in the Sports Click Field Basket International Championship. And a statement to the rest of the teams, of course, that they are still the number one. They're still Team A. <laughs> <laughs> a miss, and the follow up is an air ball coming up from Tan Chi Seng. <laughs> So it is now uh, Tim GJ coming into the game as Quick will take his final rest. Under a minute remaining before we crown the champion of the Sports League Field Basket International Championship. Heng Yi Tong, quick ball movement right there. Three pointer good coming from Tim GJ. Lead is 19, so it's just a matter of what the final score is going to be in this one. As Steele once again, Wong Yi Hao missed the dunk. He was trying to go for the poster, instead, he got posterized by the rim. So, just a second difference between the clocks right now, and I think they're just going to run this one out. So that could be the final score right there, 87-68 to as uh, Wong Yi Hao just releases the ball. And it will be official, Harimau winning a total of seven consecutive games to become the champion of the Sports League Phil Basket International Championship. They are the first ever champions. And it's only fitting that a Malaysian team Gets to win the championship in Malaysia, Coach Erika. Yeah, uh, definitely. Harimau Malaysia showing their class. Showing that the Kerala said they are the main team. The team A of this tournament. And they are proved right. Undefeated in this tournament is really, really remarkable. Uh, achievement made by them. Right. Kuala Lumpur Asil has nothing to be ashamed of here. With the effort that they put in first quarter and the very very uh, first the moments they had a seven point lead but then they lost that lead and they were behind by 10 and it was they were trying to climb back if they started the fourth uh, quarter or make that the third quarter down by only three but then a lot of fireworks exploded here for Harimau. Yeah very true but credit need to give uh, to coach Jeff because 
uh, Harimau Malaysia playing without fouling. That's really, really interesting. Third quarter, Kelasil, there's no at, uh, free throw attempt. Right, first half, zero free throw attempts as well for uh, Kuala Lumpur Asil. But it has been a great ride for these teams and all of the, our other teams here. We have 10 total teams taking part in the first ever Sports Click Field Basket International Championship. Once again, we will have the award ceremony in just a short while, but it is Harimau Malaysia taking the uh, championship 87 to 68 against Kuala Lumpur Asil. We'll be back to wrap this up after these reminders.
runner-up, the champion team, and of course, our tournament MVP. So let's call back on center court our very special people here with us tonight, the Phil Basket Commissioner and co-founder Jai Reyes, our representatives from Leaning, um, Mr. Ivan Tam, the head of e-business development, and Ms. Jean, the, best, the business development executive, and last but not the least, the president of MABA himself. Now awarding our first runners up. Now awarding our first runners up will be Mr. Jai Reyes himself. Now, our first runners up did not expect to be here, but they really put up a one brave fight here in this tournament. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our first runners up, Kuala Lumpur Asil. Now let's call on um, Kuala Lumpur Asil to be here with us in the center court. leaves us with our champions who completely sweep this tournament awarding this championship this champion team rather will be Dato Seri Lee Dian Hock the president of MABA now the Phil Basket international champion the Harimau Malaysia Congratulations to KLSL and Harimau Malaysia. Now we still have one more award to give out. Now this person completely...
Okay, congratulations once again to Harimau Malaysia. Now we still have one more award to give out. This person completely was completely a cut above the rest. And throughout the short tournament, he showed consistent performance. Our tournament most valuable player is none other than Mimi. Now congratulations to all our all our awardees. This has been the Sports Tech Pro Basket International Championship and we will definitely see you again next time. Thank you Malaysia. All right, thank you to Janine Sakalalev for one last time, Coach Edika, the stats from the championship game. Yeah, you can see that uh, as we expect that Kerala still is, they are the three-point shooting, but today apparently the final uh, credit need to, to give to Harimau Malaysia, right. where they uh, just give Kerala still 21% in three points. And look at that, three free throws total for 40 minutes for Kuala Lumpur Asil. Great, ga great game plan for Jeff Viernes, and uh, though, though, though they did commit more turnovers, they did make up for it in the assist department, Coach Edika. Yeah, very, very true. You can see that Coach Viernes really, really emphasized to uh, kick the ball open to wide open men to hit the three-point, and seven-second offense is really, really remarkable. Well, it has been a great eight days here in Malaysia, and of course, as Janine said, we will definitely be back very soon here for probably another run at another international championship. But this is going to end this particular tournament. The Sports Click Phil Basket International Championship is now in the books. Any final thoughts, Coach Edika? Yeah, I hope that uh, Phil Basket keep coming to Malaysia every year. <laughs> and I hope a good team really, really coming up. How about, how about every month? How about yeah, every month? That sounds I would, better, I would right? like to. I would like to, yeah. <laughs> we would love that as well. But for now, it is goodbye from Kuala Lumpur. For Janine Sakal, Mika Madrid working the game earlier, Jen Reyes, Meng, as well as Coach Erika and all the hardworking men and women behind our coverage here of the Phil Basket or the Sports League Phil Basket International Championship. My name is Noel Zarate. We are now signing off officially from Kuala Lumpur. Good evening to everyone.
again tomorrow. One, two, three, two, three. Two, three. Two, three.
eventually come to the light. Pushing with it. 